Should radioactive waste be stored within a two-hour drive of Lubbock? A group called Promote Andrews says no, at least not until Texas voters can be heard on the issue. The group says it will file a lawsuit tomorrow against the Texas Low-Level Radioactive Waste Compact Commission. Promote Andrews says the commission is about to approve new rules that will allow radioactive waste from 36 states to be dumped in Andrews County. This is video of the site run by a company called Waste Control Specialists. I was on an eight-member team that worked for four years analyzing the application submitted by WCS and we unanimously recommended against issuance of a license to that company. It was the largest notice of deficiency the agency had ever issued in its history. The next round after the submitted responses to those questions they were willing to respond to was the second largest notice of deficiency in the history of the agency. I explained that we were all 100% opposed to this license. The result of that news was that we were told by our supervisor that WCS was impatient and that they wanted a draft license to be prepared immediately and so that a public comment period could occur over the Christmas holidays specifically to limit public notice and public comment. Three days later they had that draft license. It was on that occasion that I notified my supervisors that I will ne never draft a license for this company and that I will be resigning. Better that than issuing a license. They had four years to demonstrate the suitability of this site and they did not. This company was going to get a license. Now, I'm suspicious of that. We're going to talk about instead of just having a compact a hole to take waste from Vermont and, and Texas. Now we want to do it for 36 states. Let me tell you that from the perspective of that team, they didn't take any waste from any state, including Texas and Vermont. That is an unsuitable site and it not, doesn't seem to be good stewardship to just pass this problem to some future generation. The Compact Committee's decision could open up Andrews to more radioactive waste and will affect the entire state of Texas. Texas currently permits storage of radioactive waste from inside the state and the state of Vermont. But rules proposed by the Texas Low-Level Radioactive Waste Disposal Compact Commission would alter that, allowing import of waste from at least 36 sites across the country. What's going to change for WCS? I need to know now so that I can be prepared for the future. Rose Gardner lives in Eunice, New Mexico, on a ranch she calls home. But just five miles away in Andrews County is the future home of a radioactive waste disposal site. The Texas Compact Commission voted I'm today. We'll be seeing the nation's nuclear waste in West Texas. Eight governor's appointees met in Midland to discuss and vote on a plan by WCS to allow radioactive waste to be brought here from up to 36 states. The panel voted to unveil the provisions to the public in 10 days. They will be taking comments for 30 days and then reveal their final plan early next week. A commentary by News Channel 11 Vice President and General Manager Dan Jackson. A report last week revealed that new rules are being considered at the state level that would basically allow West Texas to become a toxic waste hub for other states around the country. The commission in charge of these rules is proposing to allow other states a chance to dispose of low-level radioactive waste at a facility in Andrews County. Right now, the site is only allowed to store waste from Texas and Vermont. This would open the door to 36 other states. The deadline to protest is December 26, and this proposal was posted for public review last Friday. Consider this. This kind of toxic waste storage on a potentially massive level is not just an Andrews issue. It is a West Texas issue. To me, the idea of making West Texas a sort of wasteland central for the entire country's radioactive waste doesn't sit well. This kind of waste is permanent and West Texans will have to live with it for many, many years. But yet, we only have 30 days to review it and speak out? Seems a little one-sided to me. Crystal, the organization's Public Citizen and Texas Civil Liberties Project filed a restraining order against the Texas Low-Level Radioactive Waste Disposal Commission to stop this rule from being voted in. That judge did sign it, but now a hearing has been scheduled for Monday to look at it again.
The controversy continues surrounding the Waste Control Specialist Facility in Andrews after the restraining order was filed to halt the commission from voting 36 other states into the dump. Attorneys from the Attorney General's office came in and made arguments for the proposal before the judge. Grant them the opportunity to file a motion of dissolution um, and have that motion heard on Monday, January 3rd. So come Monday, both sides will make their cases again, and the restraining order will be upheld or dissolved. If the order is dissolved, the commission can vote on the proposal in their January 4th meeting. If not, it'll be tabled until a January 13th hearing, where the proposal itself will come into question. Whether or not the compact commission may proceed with voting on the rule, or um, if they need to take further action, such as reposting the rule, Opponents of the proposal say the commission violated state law by having a defective email address for the public to submit comments, claiming the email bounced them back until the final three days of the 30-day comment period. What with the vote being between Thanksgiving and Christmas, they're saying West Texans were too rushed by the holidays to get all of their comments through. The only proper way to do this would be withdraw and have another 30-day comment period, this time don't make any errors. Since the waste facility was originally intended for just waste from Texas and Vermont, opponents don't like the idea that even more waste could be flooding Andrews. Our concern here for promoting Andrews is what's your next step? Are you going to try and import waste from other countries? What's next in your quest for a profit here? Now, we're told Waste Control Specialist in Andrews says they need those other 36 states to make the facility financially feasible. We tried contacting the commission to get their comment, but no one returned our calls. We've posted the section of the commission's website regarding the proposal to our own website. Just log on to NewsWest9.com and look under News Links. Reporting live in the studio, Nick Lawton, NewsWest9.